I look at some of the opportunity that, as pastors, we have in Australia today. And a pioneer is somebody who goes before and makes a way for others. And I have no doubt that lives like Trevor Chandler's have paved the way for so many wonderful things in our nation and in the nations around the world. <laughs> I remember as a boy, of course, when Trevor Chandler was a, a real man of faith and a preacher, but was a successful businessman. And uh, the Chandler's house, to me, these days it would be a relatively moderate house, but then they had the big house and I didn't know anyone else who had a tennis court in their backyard <laughs> like the Chandlers. And you were talking about water skiing. First time I ever water skied or attempted to was actually in Titai Bay behind that boat. <laughs> and I completely forgot about it till you mentioned it right there. So, he helped me in a lot of ways. <laughs> Got me to water ski, sort of. Certainly inspired me in life and ministry. My older sister, uh, at one point as a teenager, got in some difficulty and some trouble. I never forget Trevor Chandler at that time because he was such an agent of grace in the situation and a great support to my parents. And you don't forget times like that. My parents always did speak about Trevor Chandler in those days. So, I've got a lot of personal gratitude to Trevor Chandler and his life. And obviously, there's a lot that could be said. But I just think of First Chronicles 29, 28, speaking about David. Described David as a man who died in a good old age. Some people die in an old age, but it's not good. Mm -hmm. But when a life is really for an entire life, held a testimony and had an integrity and the impact on the world around and about them being good, that's a good old age. Full of days. Not just lots of days, but full days. Days that were full. Helping people, blessing people. It's incredible to see less than two months ago, this man just so passionate about preaching the word, being a blessing to other people. So the scripture says he died at a good old age, full of days with riches and wisdom, and his son Solomon reigned <coughs> after him. And the wonderful thing about a life well lived for the kingdom of God is the opportunity it gives the generations ahead to live powerful lives after them. So Peter, so good to see you, Dale, and obviously Carol. Uh, we wish you well, and I thank God for your dad, for your mum, for the impact they had on me personally. Your dad, all over the years, I didn't see him too often, but every time I did, he was also always such a personal encouragement to me. And that's why it's an honor to be here. God bless.